Now with inspiring young rookie pro golfer Haley Moore. She has grabbed headlines for her impressive play, but perhaps her greatest victory has been sharing how she overcame bullying for most of her life to achieve her dreams. We're going to talk to Haley live in just a moment, but first take a look at her story. Haley Moore, a golf legend at the University of Arizona, is now one of the most exciting rookies on the LPGA Tour. But her success did not come easy. Haley struggled with bullying and low self-esteem for most of her life. She was called fat, ugly, and more. And the golf course didn't offer an escape. Towering over her competition at nearly six feet tall and easily overpowering other players, her peers' resentment almost made her quit the game she loved. It was very hard. I didn't really want to play this game anymore. I was just very depressed. But Haley was able to block out the negativity and realize her dream of becoming a professional golfer. Just putting it aside and just focusing on what my main goal was, was to get on the Pro Tour really, I think, just helped me and just motivated me from it. Now Haley is using her LPGA status and platform to inspire kids to embrace their authentic selves. People can be cruel but they can also be kind. I learned what makes me different makes me stronger. And true confidence comes from within. Indeed, and Haley Moore joins us now live. And Haley, been looking forward to meeting you. Thank you very, very much for your time. And I, I have to say, I admire you in so many ways. I didn't realize you started playing golf when you were so young and how much you loved it. But I did hear about how, in, in school, how you were, were bullied. How did that impact you? How did that affect you, Haley, at a young age? Mm, yeah, I was, you know, I was very lost at one point. I just really did not know what to do at first. I was just, I just didn't know what to do with my life, and it was hard. And I was just grateful to have a great support team with me, with my family and close friends who knew what I was going through and what my friends could see, what I was doing with at school um, and everything like that. And so now I'm just grateful for everything and I'm excited to just be out here and playing out, um, on the professional tour and just ready to share my story and everything like that. And not many people could say they made it to the pro level that you are a professional yeah. golfer, young lady. And I know that means mm -hmm. a lot you. to you. You have a lot going on. And why did you decide that this was the time? You know what? I want to share my story. Now was the time to do it. What made you decide that? Yeah, I just, I knew um, just kind of going through college and winning the national championship, I knew my next step after I'd graduated was being a professional golfer. and. Um, the story had really hit up, hit up right when I had won the national championship and was going to come into my pro career. And when I had gone on to the LPGA, they had they had knew about my story and had wanted to do a drive on campaign feature and everything like that. And um, that was going to be the perfect time because it was my first year on tour mm. and just for them to get to know me and everything like that. And so I'm just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just grateful and everything. I'm glad so. that people are getting to know you, Haley. Mm -hmm. You got some young fans yeah. out there. We're going to hear for a couple of them. This one is Sarah. She has a question for you. You have inspired so many little girls, and I'm one of your biggest fans. How does it feel to be an inspiration to so many? <laughs> it feels awesome to be an inspiration. <laughs> many people today and kids still go through bullying, and I think it just it has... If I could find a way to stop it and everything like that, it's just, it's not right to do. And I hate seeing people struggle with their life. And I just feel like if I tell my story and get, just tell my story to them, they can definitely hopefully try to have a goal or something in life that they want to, um, have a goal in life that they want to do and be able to achieve it and everything like that. You like what you've done as being a pro golfer. And now, Sophia, here's another question for you, Haley. This is a question from Sophia. What is the number one motivational quote you've lived by to keep smiling? <laughs> this was kind of, it was kind of, wow, that's great. Um, this was kind of a, 
I just kind of made up my own. I had a really great slogan when I was growing up of dream, believe, achieve. And so I had a dream of making my way to the LPGA Tour. And to do that, I had to believe in myself. And if I had obstacles come in front of me, which I did, I knew that I just had to keep fighting and be strong in myself to get over it. And once I did, I would be able to achieve it. And so now here I am playing my first year on the LPGA Tour and everything and it's, um, living my dream and everything. And another, just some other stuff is that uh, just don't, for kids who are struggling or still struggling today, just don't let other people judge you by how you look, if you talk different or if you look different than any other boys or girls. Just you be you. Everyone's born different. So don't let someone else control your life. Be you. Dream, believe, achieve. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. are a perfect example of that. Haley, thank you. I know this won't be the last time we're talking, and but glad that we had this chance to meet and for your inspiring words. You take care. Happy holidays. Merry Thank Christmas. Thank you so much. Thank I you know. for having me. Uh, okay, Thank you. you got it. Seeing the palm tree <laughs> in the background and everything, it's just kind of as cold as it is here in New York. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.